Tank Racer is a 3D action racing game that was released for the PlayStation in 1999 that would comprise of a variety of different gameplay modes from single race to various tournaments but where the game would really take main aspects would be on its multiplayer battle modes and racing modes that allowed you to play with a multitude of different players if you had access to the multi-tap accessory so that was definitely one of the game's highlights. So the game itself with regards to how it plays and feels it doesn't take itself too seriously as you can play Play with a variety of different models of tanks and your goal is to shoot and obliterate your opponents with the aim to try and win all of the races across the eight different tracks that are available in the game. The tracks can also be reused by being able to go in different directions either in reverse and you will see that throughout each of the environments or the cup modes that are available. Plus you get to unlock a variety of different bonuses depending on your overall ranks and your victories within the game. The game did receive fairly decent and reviews at its launch but comparably saying that it was more of a novelty rather than an out and out competitive racing game as while it doesn't present really anything new or original it was fun to play in short bursts but however one of the major gripes with this game is that this game is super difficult as there is a complete unbalance with the computer AI as they're so aggressive that let's just put it this way if you ever do manage to ever win a race in this game it's just pure luck because no amount of skill or effort can really contribute to you ever winning a race. The aggressive elements of the computer AI are so high that they're way ahead of you before you even know what's going on. No matter how good you are at the tracks, no matter how perfect you are around corners, even taking enemies out, you can never really get near first place, let alone win races. You might be able to do it early on in some of the earlier modes, but the further into the game you get, just forget about it, you won't win races at all. Anyone who's ever played this, and there have been people that have that have covered this in other videos on YouTube, and they've all pretty much said the same thing that this game is just ridiculous when it comes to overall difficulty it's like they focus more on the fun elements with the multiplayer characteristics of the game that they completely overlooked the competitive nature of the single player experience they just made it too aggressive and too difficult for it to really be worthwhile and even enjoyable in many regards so if there's one major gripe with the game and it's a pity because it does have a lot of niche characteristics it's just it's the overall aggressiveness of the ai systems that are in place it just makes the game unbearable at times like it's fun to play in short bursts it has some really quirky elements it has some decent graphics and it really suits the cartoony style that it's going for but it's just it will lead to a lot of frustration because it's so difficult to win races if at all which is a pity and unfortunately back then there was no real way of being able to patch out these issues or flaws with games if games were released like this what you see is what you got so if you ended up paying full price for this game back in the day you would have been heavily disappointed the only way that this game would have been worthwhile purchasing or picking up is if you managed to get it cheap in a bargain bin somewhere now it's not to say that it's bad it is actually a decent game it's just that flaw is what really kills it in many regards and i found that to be the case when i played it as well i first experienced this game with a demo it came with the playstation magazine way back and i found it to be a fun experience but even i will admit the demo was very very difficult but it was fun but even going back now to play the full game yes it's still fun to play in short bursts don't get me wrong and it is fun to play with the multiplayer settings but it's just if you're trying to play competitively to try and win all the races like i said you may as well just forget about it. it will just actually frustrate you and you just don't want to allow yourself to go there because you won't find it enjoyable you'll actually grow to hate the game if you try to sit down and play it so your best just to avoid it in that sense or just play it in short bursts here and there whenever you feel like it but other than that it doesn't offer up anything new aside from what you would see in other games that were kind of like it it's kind of like a mario kart clone but with tanks that's pretty much what it's trying to be but this game is a lot more aggressive with the ai compared to other games of its type which is definitely a downfall but aside from that i would love to know your thoughts of tank racer for the playstation and what did you think of it did you enjoy this game or did you find this game to be brutally difficult like i mentioned so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you would like to see more content around other types of racing games like this that were also released on the playstation then you can check out the videos here on screen or even look at other videos i've covered on the channel so that you can see more of these games in action and as always keep those gaming memories alive